Hello and welcome back to Crusader of Cinti. We're back at Iris, finally. And we're gonna check out oh, first we're gonna see if the slimes have anything to say. But before you can catch one of those, you can catch slimy under the tree right here. And nope, same message as before. But that does bring up an interesting point. Now, I didn't pick up on this the first time I played it, but um uh, it should have occurred to me to wonder where exactly the slime went. He mentions he fell in love with a human. We saw him go this way. I guess at the time I wasn't used to like continuity being a big thing. So it didn't occur to me he went to the village, the human village, uh, before this uh, animal village place. Uh, before we go though, let's take a talk. I didn't talk to the beaver the first time. Might as well stop and say hello. And his house has been destroyed by the snow. Well, it could be worse. Okay, I, I should mention, you can go back to the racetrack here. But it's just a time trial now. A time trial that costs 10 malons every time you do it. Let's see the squirrel's got anything new going on. Let's stay on Paw Squirrel's good side. Wouldn't want him to go nuts. I'm sorry. Okay, uh, not really much going on here. Uh, hang on, there's a rabbit here. Let's talk to him first. Brownie. Okay. Thunder at the human village. Okay, so we're going to the human village. Okay, now we have the holy sword now, which is about tw well, it is twice as strong as your normal sword. So stump monsters and those... Formerly flaming pig things, now frozen pig things. One hit will kill them. So, let's see. Yeah, right there. Oh, I'm out of, really out of apples. Unfortunately, even though the uh, area is all snowed over, these apple trees up here still have a few apples by them. So, let's take the time to see if we can't get a few. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> ah, sorry. Throat's been giving me trouble lately. Okay. Okay, that's good enough health. I need to be a little more careful here. I'm getting kind of reckless. This game isn't hard, but, um... There's no excuse for just kind of being careless. Okay. Human village. Okay. Now remember, this is the village of slime went to, so... Again, at the time, I didn't quite catch on to this. <laughs> well, I probably should have. And we find out that this little girl named Chai is the one that Slimy was in love with, or is in love with. Now, she has a grandmother named Dorothy who wants to tell you an interesting story. It involves a tornado being sent to the past and a pair of magic shoes. All of which is interesting. Now she mentioned the shoes were stolen a long time ago. And you need to trigger Chai. Chai has to say something here. Let's see. No, it's not that. That. She knows where the magic shoes are hidden. They're in the chest by the pond, but someone stole them. It makes her mad because, well, someone stole them. Well, now we know what was in the chest. Doesn't put us any closer to finding. Though, I guess there's no reason. Why would we need to find the shoes? We're not in the past. Okay. Everyone's sick of the snow. Yeah, that's the truth about snow. It's fun for, like, the first day. Then it's just really, really cold. I live in Texas, so snow is a pretty rare occurrence, but I did work in Missouri once. Unfortunately, I got enough snow to build a snowman, so I'm happy. Okay, you know you're ready to progress when you can talk to the flower and he says something. Otherwise, he's just paralyzed with fear. And sadly, yes, you have to buy this information. You can't get around it. As you noticed, I stood in front of the hole. That's what triggers the next event, but it didn't trigger. You gotta hear this first. Like he says, go to the edge. Oh. Yeah, he doesn't have any more information, but he'll tell you something next time, so. 
I'm always reminded of Echo the Dolphin when I see this. Okay. And now, we're back at the village. But look, the chest is back. And we can't go up here anymore. Apparently, there are more invisible boundaries in the past. So, what? Did this guy just sit here his whole life? Let's see. Apparently, Dorothy was lost. Yeah, it's the past. Apparently, she was in her parents' past. Well, we all have to grow uh, older, but at least for fortunately, growing up is optional. Okay. Really, you're going to train so you can get a gold, a hero sword like this? I'm 14 years old. You don't have your hero sword yet. What's wrong with you? All you need to do is get your dog to help uh, Rabbit teach you how to jump, and then befriend a cheetah. Easy. And can't go that way either. Unfortunately, we can't jump that. We just... Oop. Do I have anything... No. For some reason, Dippy will not work on this one spot. Plot convenience. Okay. Here's the first annoyance, though. The monsters in the past are twice as strong, which means the Holy Sword upgrade? Pointless. For now, at least. Again, though, you can equip, like, the penguin and kind of... Come to think of it, yeah, it looks like they're about four times strong, because I was actually killing the stump with one hit. Oh, well. Honestly, there's really no reason to fight them, so just run past. No, that's two hits. It's, it's, it's twice as strong as they were before. I really should have gotten some apples, but... Yeah. They were in the past, so these trees have grown back. Though, think about this. It's a river of lava, and the trees are just going to grow back in the future. Not sure I understand that. Okay, we're back at the animal village, which isn't really a village yet. Okay. Yeah, you can make many good friends who he will try to sell to you. Oh, we seem to have an armadillo in trouble here. Armadillo, an animal that is not, as many people in Texas seem to believe, an animal that exists solely on its back. Sorry, that was a cheap shot at my own. Uh, seriously, though, man. You drive around Texas any amount of time, you see, like, tons of armadillos in the road. I hear it's because they're nearsighted. I don't know. I remember the first time I saw one alive, though, it, it legitimately surprised me. Not that it was walking on its feet, of course, just that I'd seen the live one. I'm so used to seeing them on the side of the road. Okay. Uh, heading back. I need to get apples at those trees before I pass by. Ooh, dang it. Oh, have I saved anytime soon? Anytime recently? Okay. And uh, we're good. Oh, oh, not worth it. I can get it. I can get it. Oh. Okay. That's it. Fortunately, that's all we have to worry about for this area. Okay. You see, the, uh, the armadillo's ability is to turn into a plate. Basically functions like a plank, but you can carry him with you. He has quite a few uses, actually. So you can kind of naturally extend your jumping ability. And there's the magic shoes. Now we will travel back to the future. And here we are. Oh, let's go talk to our flower friend before we depart. Yeah. <laughs> Eat that, buddy. We're still 180 short of the golden apple, the mermaid cells. It comes down to it, though, I might at some point just go behind the screen, go behind the scene, you know, between episodes, and grind it out real quick. It's just one heart, but, eh, we're so close, you know? 
We're going to pass an enemy beach. That's a good spot for it. The stars will actually drop coins too. Oh well. In any case, you can go either way. But uh, at this point, we're going to be chasing the tornado that came out of the hole. Because the tornado is creating portals to the past. Also because it's the only thing in the world that's changed. And there's really not much else to indicate what we should do. Still is interesting, and uh, we get to revisit a lot of old areas. And answer a few questions. It adds a few more, to be honest, but... Uh, I can't have everything, I suppose. Okay, almost out of here. Fortunately, the tornado is easy to spot. Uh, let's see, where is it? Oh, there it is. The first spot is the desert. In fact, it's right in that weird little town thing we found. Which we will check out next time.